this video we will create an python script which will automate the task of uh, google search of virat kohli with the help of selenium and using xpath so first we will import a web driver from selenium web driver so this web driver will help us in accessing the browser and automating the task store it in a variable object known as driver using web browser chrome so i have to give path of chrome web browser in, which is in my system okay. files google chrome application and select this and copy the copy its path paste it here and add driver so if you don't add driver here then the script won't be allowed to automate the task so as soon as i add driver now my script will be able to access the driver for the required task so next thing is we'll use get function to get the url of google which is here so i will copy paste the url here perfect so now our driver object will get the chrome browser and will open the url of google now what we want to enter is we want to give uh, we want to enter the name of that could be inside this search bar so what i will do is i'll inspect this page by right clicking over inspect we want to use this search bar here i will go an element scroll left it's under the input tag and might be some element here Let's write an export to this input here. Mm -hmm. Let's try to use class. Your class is What's this. Okay, so the second xpath will work for us what it gave is driver dot find element we are finding the element of search bar and we are using xpath as the method doing that so let's copy paste the xpath and we'll send keys so the send keys function will write that code for us in the search bar same thing we will do to click the search button using xpath method let's find the xpath for that search button so its class is we don't have any kind of id so let's use this class see if we are getting this or not So let's try this way. I will hope it will work. Uh, for this, we want to click this button, so we'll use click function. And to avoid an, any kind of exception, I will just give an instruction to wait for about one second so that our selenium script doesn't go ahead of our web browser let's run this you can see the browser gets open you type that coolly and yeah here we go so we have successfully automated a task